Welcome back. You've come a long way in your Asana workflow journey. You just socialized your new workflow to ensure your team was ready to embrace the changes. In this final step, you'll analyze your workflow, surfacing insights on your team's work. Every Asana project has a built-in dashboard. You can add custom charts to visualize the information you need. Choose your chart type, define your axes, and add filters. Let's look at a few examples by recalling Alan's reporting needs from earlier in the course. To start, I need to report on the number of requests coming in from each league. I'll use a donut chart, since it's helpful for me to see the proportion each league is contributing to our overall total. I'll group by our custom field for league and measure task count, since each request is a task. I can click on any of these numbers to see a list of the specific events in that category. It's pretty cool. In addition to seeing the work moving through your workflow, you can also use dashboards to pinpoint bottlenecks. For example, let's create a chart showing how much time requests are spending in each section. It looks like requests are getting held up at the staffing review stage. This could be a great opportunity to follow up and gather feedback on any bottlenecks or opportunities for improvement. I love this. It's so helpful to get a bird's eye view of our work. What about the events that are already in production? I'd like to be able to see which ones are on track and which ones are running into delays. I'm glad you asked. Since each event plan is managed in a project, we'll create a portfolio to group them together. This is great. Since each event manager publishes a weekly status update, I can quickly see which ones are on track and which ones are at risk. Another thing I need to report on is the estimated and actual cost of all our events. Can I add a dashboard to my portfolio too? You sure can, but we need to set up the data first. Just like in a project, you can add custom fields to a portfolio. If there's a global custom field that's been added to multiple projects in your portfolio, you can see a rollup of that data at the portfolio level. You've already added fields for estimated cost and actual cost to each event project. We'll add a rollup of each to your portfolio view and add a new field to calculate the difference between the two. Then we'll add a chart to your portfolio dashboard. In this case, we want to report on data connected to the projects in the portfolio, not the individual tasks. We'll select a number chart and show a sum of the cost difference field. Wow. I feel like a workflow wizard. We just hope you'll use your new powers for good, Alan. To recap, we learned to analyze a workflow. Build dashboards with various charts to monitor progress and identify bottlenecks. Refine the workflow based on data and team feedback and monitor multiple initiatives in one place with portfolios. Take a moment to consider how will you use Asana dashboards and portfolios to monitor and improve your workflows over time? Well, Alan, we're at the end of our workflow journey. I've leveled up my workflow game, but don't worry, I won't let it go to my head. There's always more to learn in the world of workflows. Congratulations. You've completed the entire workflow journey from planning to building to deploying. Remember that great workflows aren't built in a day. 
So continue to gather feedback and refine your processes for even better results. Till next time, may your work flow.